Hello and welcome to College 2 Consulting. I'm going over market sizing and unlike doing market sizing by age or a descriptive piece of demographic information, I'm going to do it by profile. And you would use profile if you're interviewing with a consumer packaged goods consulting firm or a marketing firm because that's how they group people. They group them on their characteristics rather than by descriptive information such as age, race, or gender. All right, so let's just do an example together. Let's see you get this question. How many bottles of ketchup are sold from grocery stores? Let's assume, too, that this question is asking how many customers buy bottles of ketchup and how many bottles of ketchup are sold to them, rather than bottles of ketchup that are sold to small businesses or even big businesses. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out my sheet of paper that you would use during the interview. I'm going to put in the necessary columns that I know I'm going to need. I'm going to put in the rows that will break out my group. Okay, now the question asks how many bottles of ketchup, so I need to know a couple of things. I need to know how many people even would buy ketchup from a grocery store, and the second, how many bottles do they buy annually. Okay, so I'm going to make some assumptions. I'm going to say that profiles are mutually exclusive. Remember, with any market sizing, the groups have to be mutually exclusive. So even if you sound like you are in two groups, you're only going to be mapped to one group. Second thing, the population is equally distributed, and there are 320 million people. Just standard. This will make the math much easier for us in the future. Okay, so I'm going to have profile, the number of million people in that group, the percentage of those people that would buy ketchup from a grocery store, that total number, the number of annual purchases. Now this is important because I need to know how many bottles, not how many people, and then the total number per year. So I'm going to say that there are non-users. These people just do not like ketchup at all. Maybe they don't like salty. You have the social users who maybe have ketchup once in a while if, there's, if they're hosting a party. The occasional users who use it sometimes on food depending on what the food is. Then you have the addicts who probably put it on everything. So that's our total. Now, if you look at this, I'm really using frequency as a proxy for profile. So that's a very good starting point to use. You can use frequency as a way to help you develop the different groups by profile, if that makes sense. Okay, so now there are 320 million people in each group. They're all equally distributed. That means I'm going to have 80 million people in each group. Now, of the non-users, how many of them would even go to a grocery store to buy ketchup? Well, they're non-users, so that's 0%. The social, I'd say a small percentage, maybe 20%, will buy ketchup from a grocery store. The occasional users, I'll say, you know, they use it on half of the food maybe they eat or less than half, so I'm actually going to be generous and give it 50. And the addicts are people who love it, so they're probably buying it all the time. So that's 80. Now, you might wonder, why is the addicts 80% and why is it not 100%? Maybe they're not going to grocery stores to buy ketchup. Maybe they're getting it from something else or, or for whatever reason, uh, like a restaurant or they're saving the packets or, or whatever. But that's just something that you want to explain. Okay, so of the total million people, that gives me zero for non-users. Social, that gives me 16. Occasional, easy one, 40 million. Addicts, 64. So total, I have about 120 million people that are going to grocery stores to buy ketchup. But that's not the case question. The qu question is, how many bottles of ketchup are sold? Okay, so now I need to estimate the number of annual purchases. Non-users is going to be very easy, zero. Social, I'm going to say that they don't really buy ketchup that often. They are only using it for events, So, and you don't really go through a whole bottle that quickly. So... I'm going to say one. The occasional users, because they do use ketchup periodically, I'm going to say that's five. Uh, the addicts, I'm going to say it's almost once a month, but not exactly, so I'm going to give them ten. Okay, so now I'm going to do the math all the way across, so obviously we have zero for the non-users. Social, that gives me 16 million. Occasional, that gives me 200. And the addicts is 640. Now, what I'm doing is, just so you know, 
is I'm picking numbers that are setting the math up to make it very easy for me in the future. 64 times 10, I just have to put a zero on the end of it. 440 times 5, it's 20 with an extra zero. But use numbers that will make it easy for you. So now if I add this together, I have 0 plus 16 is 16. 16 plus 200 is 216. And then 216 plus 640 gives me 856. I'm just going to circle this number to put it in the interviewer's face. And now you have an organized, clear way of doing market sizing by profile. For other videos, check out some that we did on what is market sizing, market sizing by age, and then market sizing by household for products that are a little bit more unique. All right, thank you very much.